Hey everybody, I thought I better get on here and do a video. I need to cut my grass. I don't know about you guys, but our grass is growing so fast here. Now everybody's cutting their grass around me. I'm going to have to cut mine so it don't look so bad. If you're not part of the channel, subscribe, share, like this video. hope everybody had a great weekend with family, friends. I just want to get on here and do a real quick video talk, telling you just keep your eyes up on the sky. Now, I know that everything seems to be normal and everything seems to be quiet, but that's usually when everything's going to go bad, usually. And still, there's a lot of stuff going on around the world. Just kind of always keep your eyes up on the sky right now because, like I said, we're still in a time where anything can happen. So a lot of people let their guard down right now, and you shouldn't leave let your guard down, especially at this moment in time because right now we're still at a high time. To watch to see if something's going to happen like i said we don't know the day and the time but we all feel that something's up a lot of us saw today and didn't know why that maybe something would happen today or something would start but the thing is jesus warned us about this time through our dreams and visions and everything else so definitely keep your your wits about you about what's going on around you and don't fall back to sleep in times like this uh, right now, China has surrounded Taiwan. And that's a mess. Israel is still on the verge of war with Iran. And all that stuff could come to pass. And now with them with Syria too. A lot of stuff in the news. A lot of people at each other's throats. It's a sad time, but a good time for us. Like I said, don't fear. Just have yourself ready. Because... He is coming, and it ain't going to be long before we're out of here, thank goodness, and it gets us off its rock. Because this world is falling apart. It seems like every day I wake up, it's falling apart just little by little, more and more every day. So we got to just keep ourselves busy and aware of what's going on. And if, and if anything comes across me and my attention, I will bring it on here to let you know what's happening. Because that's basically what I do. It's just basically keeping an eye on everything so you don't have to. And keeping your family in my prayers. A lot of you are sick. I know that. A lot of you are at your wit's end with everything that's going on. And I can, I'm here to tell you, just hang on just a little bit longer. We don't have much longer. Just stay calm. No fear. I know a lot of channels are on there right now telling you that the whole world's collapsing. And it is. But you don't need to fear it because we won't be here when it falls apart. World War III will happen. There's nothing we can do to stop it. It's going to happen. But we don't, we don't need to be scared of it because we won't be here to see it. What I like to do at moments like this is just think about heaven, family members, seeing them again. Seem like, you know, we get to our wit's end a lot about in these days where we get troubled and we aggravated because nobody listens to us. That's why we created the channel, because it's a place for you to come to and talk to people that's open-minded like you are and that's waiting on Jesus. A lot of people are not yearning for Jesus to come in these days. And it's good to have a channel that's you know you can come to and be able to do that. And a lot of that, we do that on the Facebook page, the art page. Where people can just, you know, talk to people like you. That knows Jesus is coming, but nobody else will listen. It's very important to have that these days. Because there's just not a lot of it. A lot of people don't want him to come. A lot of churches don't want him to come. That's just the way it is today. But that's just the world we live in. What is it, Layla? What is it, honey? What is it? I know, you was a pretty girl. He was a pretty girl. That's my neighbor's dog that for some reason thinks I have adopted her. She's a pretty girl. Yeah, her's a pretty girl. I don't have no food. But I just definitely wanted to get on here and, you know, check in, let you know. I'm here watching as usual to see what's going on in the world. And keeping an eye on everything so you can go about your business. But just understand that we're still at a time where it can be any minute. But just, you know, like I said, no fear. Go about your business. Do your work. 
And when he comes, you'll be ready. There's only one way to heaven, people, and that's through Jesus. As long as you know that and you truly believe that the blood is the only way in, you're sealed and you're ready. So you can go about your business planting your flowers and everything else and you're ready to go. But just know it could be any time. So don't forget to try to pass it along to your family members, even though they don't listen, and friends that don't listen. It's very important that you still try to pass that information to them. Because that's our job here in these last days, is to let everybody know that Jesus is coming and that He is very real. Read your Bible. Get to know Him better. Because that's the way you get to know Him better. And it's really fascinating. The more you study, it's like when we study these prophecies, they, I'm telling you, we learn something new every day. That We'll read prophecy, we'll do the prophecy, and then we'll learn something new the next time it comes around. I mean, it's always we're learning something. We're always learning something. It never gets old. We spend hours and hours learning prophecies, reading things. I mean, there's so many hidden nuggets through the Bible, it's amazing. And people don't know what they're missing when they don't read it and they don't study it. They just really miss a lot. So try your best to read that Bible one or two hours a day, and I'm telling you, it will start to enlighten you a lot. And plus, people can't play games with you. Because a lot of these Christians, they repeat the same verse and line every time because that's the only verse they've ever learned. People will learn one verse and then they put the Bible up and they don't learn anything else. That's why when you study the Bible, you know more than one verse. And you, people will start to annoy you when they start giving you that one verse over and over because you know that that verse don't mean what they're saying because they didn't go on through it. So you're like, oh, not again. But that's where we are. I hope everybody had a great Easter Sunday. I, I was looking through a lot of the Facebook pictures. looked like everybody was happy. I remember the days when I was a kid when church was packed out, not just on Easter, but it was packed out everywhere. Every day, every week, it was packed out. But those days are long gone. Even the Christians today don't look for Jesus to come. I was talking to some not too long ago. They're like, oh, he won't be here for another hundred years. I'm like, you don't even know what year you're in. It's just really pitiful. And they don't care. They're like, well, if he gets here, he gets here. If he don't, he don't. We really don't care. Yeah, that is a great mentality to have when it comes to Jesus. If that don't show you where we're at in time, you, nothing ever will. It is exactly the way it was in Noah's time. It's exactly just that way people have got to where they just do not want Jesus to come they don't want to hear about it they don't care that right there should tell you we're at the end because eventually very soon they're going to start launching and lobbing missiles at each other it's going to happen I've already seen it it will happen so I know that we're not here long because we have to be removed before that happens but mankind will destroy themselves. They will do it. And they've already told themselves, they've already made up their decision that they're going to do it no matter what. Sad where we've come, but that's just the way it is. Everybody's offended today by everything. It's just ridiculous. Their pride, they know it all. If you don't really realize that we're at the end, you're either asleep or you're hiding under your bed in a, in a pile of sand because we don't have long. My job is to come on here and just keep reminding you to keep your eyes up on the sky. No fear. You don't fear anything that these people are talking about because you won't be here. I'm just here to remind you that your time is limited. That one day soon, we're all going to be in heaven. I'll be at your place. You'll be at my place. And I can't wait to meet each and every one of you. And I know I keep telling you that, but I do look forward to it. And it's one of my good thoughts that I think about when everything's stressing me about the world falling apart as we speak. I like to think that way. Because I'm thinking about every one of you all coming over, me going all over to your, to your place and stuff like that. That's what gets me through the hard days. 
that I'm like, Jesus, please come, please come, please get us out of here. It's horrible. I can't handle it. That's usually where my mind will go is thinking about all of you in heaven with me and us just hanging out together. That is my happy thought, my happy place that I go to. And you should try it sometime. If you're getting really aggravated, just think about heaven. That's what I do because if five minutes of being on Facebook or anywhere else, I'm like, oh, my goodness, people have lost their minds. And they have. They have absolutely lost their minds. Jesus is the only way, people. You can live for eternity, but he's the only way. And the only way right now is to believe on the blood. The blood covers you. But you've got to truly believe that Jesus did that for you on that cross, that he did it all so you could be in heaven with him forever. Nobody else. There's only one God. The other ones, they're gone. There's only one God that defeated the grave. And that was the Lord Jesus Christ. Keep that in mind. You're on the winning team. Have yourself ready. Because we're not going to be here much longer. But I'll see you here from you again. I'll see you in heaven.